Good morning, Facebook family and Center Baptist Church family. I um, wanted to start something a little different this morning um, and uh, just calling it maybe devotions from my deck. Uh, I know that sounds crazy, uh, but that's kind of what I'm doing here. Um, just right here outside, enjoying the morning. Uh, the sun's starting to want to come up a little bit. And I'm just going to take just a few minutes to share with you um, what God's speaking to me every morning and um, and I love getting into God's Word, need to get into God's Word. And so I've been in uh, John uh, for the last, I guess, last several months leading into um, Acts. And I, I've just kind of circled some things um, in John. What really spoke to me the other day, John chapter 20, um, because here was Jesus had just been resurrected and yet the disciples were unaware still of the power of the resurrection. Um, they knew the tomb was empty. They had heard the reports. Peter and John had even went to the tomb and found it empty. And yet there was still fear. So they had knowledge of the resurrection, but it hadn't impacted them yet. They were human. And so the Bible says in John chapter 20, they were in the upper room with doors locked. It literally means they had put a bar over the door out of fear of what the authorities might do, what others might do. They saw what they had done to Jesus, and so they were fearful. But the Bible says Jesus stood in the midst of them. I want you to know that no locked door can stop Jesus. I thought to myself as uh, we're walking through this uh, time of social distancing, um, having to be isolated, um, the president's uh, come out again that we're going to be doing this for at least for another month. And we are in our homes and we are fearful at times, fearful to go out, fearful to uh, have contact with others, not knowing who may be carrying the virus or not. Um, everybody has different levels of fear. Not everybody is as fearful as others, but still there are fear. There's uncertainties. And we're like the disciples. We're locked in that room. But nothing stops Jesus. See, we can't meet like we'd like to meet. We can't be in our businesses like we'd like to be, schools. But you know that Jesus is not limited by a locked door or a closed school or a closed church. And by the way, we're not really closed. Schools or churches is still activating, still operating to God be the glory. But Jesus comes. And I want you to notice what he did. He, he didn't sit there and go, what are you doing fearful in this locked room? The Bible said he said, peace to you. I want you to know. You might feel isolated. You might feel like you're um, alone and there's some fears and uncertainties. I want you to know that Jesus knows exactly where you're at. He's able to come into the room you're in and he's able to speak peace. It's my prayer that you'll know the peace of God today. And remember, no locked room ever stop Jesus. Can I remind you again? See, just peeking up over the corner over there, that sun's coming up. It's a new day, and His grace and His mercy is new today. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord encourage you. In these times, have His peace, and know He comes to you right where you're at. May the Lord bless you today on this day.